Hey guys, today we have a brand new Vinamate review. Today we have the Wave 2 of the Kingdom Hearts Vinimates. Alright, here we go. New Minimates. Vinimates. So this is the second set of Kingdom Hearts, obviously, like I just said. And this time we've kind of got a mishmash of stuff going on. We've got two variants and a new character. So we've got Space Paranoid Sora, as he appeared in the Space Paranoids world, which is just Tron, Pete, brand new character, and Black Coat Mickey. Cool. So it's Mickey in his, uh, everybody always says Organization 13 Mickey, and I'm like, nuh -uh, wrong. Uh, there's also a couple variants that just came out. There's a uh, Hot Topic variant of Sora and a Walmart variant of Sora, of all places. But those come with uh, the Series 1 assortment, so I don't really count them as Series 2. Alright, so these were $9.99 on Luke's Toy Store. Same packaging for all of them. You've got the character's name, Vinnie Mates, Kingdom Hearts. On the side, it'll have the character, Posable Head, and the three characters. Amazing. So, I'm excited for this. More Kingdom Hearts is always good. Let's begin. Our first figure is going to be Space Paranoid Sora. It's him. It's your boy, Sora. So, uh, I mean, it's Sora from Tron. I'm pretty happy with what we have. Like always, I would prefer a Minimate, but fortunately we have a Minimate coming. Now, I would do a side comparison with the standard Sora, but my standard Sora is not with me right now. I have him at my office at work. So, we're just going to do Sora. This figure has a completely new sculpt. Not really much to say. They did a really good job with the painting. A lot of, I mean, with the whole Tron look, a lot of neon, a lot of bright colors. They did a really good job. Most of it's clean. Only a few scuff marks I see here and there. He's got his giant clown shoes. It sort of emulated the uh, way his pants are with their big and baggy. Going on to the back. I will say I'm not a huge fan of his arms. I don't really understand why they went with the crossed arms look. Like, I know there's some key art of him with crossed arms, but like the way they did it, I don't know. I don't know. It looks like he's... <sighs> He's not, like, casually crossing his arms. It's I don't really know how to explain it. But pr pretty uh, pretty good. It, it does look like his arm is bleeding into his hand right here. But we're not going to talk about that. And, of course, he's got his head. I would prefer to grin. Sora is, like, an eternal optimist. But pretty good. He's got his gray eyes. Not bad. And the headpiece is also very nice. And like most of Minimates, it's a it's a ball joint. I like it. Um, I don't want DSC to be too reliant on the Spares Paranoid stuff. Like, we need more stuff. Luckily, we're getting a Halloween Town in Wave 3, and Wave 4 is going to be freaking Kingdom Hearts 3. So that'll be fun. But let's move on. Next up, we have... Black Coat Mickey. Mickey is fortunately sporting a brand new pose and everything. They completely redid the original Mickey, which I am glad because, I don't know, I'm not a huge fan of the original Mickey. He's got kind of a weird head. But very good. I love the dynamic pose. He's flailing his keyblade about, sort of uh, where he appears at the opening of Kingdom Hearts 2. Actually, you could you could literally have him... I don't know, pose maybe like this. And that would be probably almost perfect. But detailing wise, this is our first black coat figure. Not bad. I hope I hope we get more, but it's basically a giant chunk of black. It's got the silver and the on it for the zipper. Little bit of sculpting on the back, it's not just solid. It's got his tail. He's got his shoes. Looking down, he's literally just a chunk of plastic. 
would have been kind of nice. I know Vinny mates don't really have articulation, but if they wanted to give it a swivel right here, maybe they could have done that. We are getting a black coat Mickey in series two of the Minimates. I actually think he might be coming with Pete. I think Pete might have a heartless. I don't remember. Well, he's also got uh, the Kingdom Key D uh, from the Realm of Darkness. Pretty good. I'm going to assume it's the exact same as the one that Sora has. Then his hood. Definitely, I think they did a much better job with the face here, main, mainly because he has something shrouding his head, so it looks a bit more round. Angry face, just really good. Definitely, I would say, a big improvement over the original Mickey. And of course, he's got his ears. So, you know, I I dig it. It's, it's Mickey, but I will say, for some weird reason, the texture, like right here, up here, and down here, really it's different it's like this is much very smooth this is a lot more coarse i don't know and yeah it's like really scraped up here i don't know why and the last but not least we have the big boy pete yeah pretty good we are getting a mini made of pete in series two so i assume this is a one-to-one -one sort of comparison and when i get the mini made of pete i'll be like wow here's the vinnie mate Pretty good. Um, decent color choices. I mean, the Kingdom Hearts design for Pete is a little extreme. I don't really know why Pete has a zipper that goes the entirety of his body. It just seems a little impractical. He's got these giant pouches, which are just chunky in plastic. Boots. I actually was about to say they look identical to Sora's, but no, they're different. some detailing on the back he's got like this harness strap that it's not even like a harness there's nothing going on to it so i assume it's for his overalls and then he's got uh short sleeves bare arms going into his fingerless gloves because of all characters give fingerless gloves definitely pete yeah it, it's nice I, I like his head as well It's just Pete. <laughs> Maybe if they gave him an expression, like a screaming expression. Um, I mean, the, the evil smile is pretty good. He's got his little hair whip. So, you know, decent sculpting. I know some people will probably complain because there's too much of the Mini Mate cylinder. But I don't think it's as bad as the original Mickey. So, yeah, decent job, guys. So, overall, that was the Vinny Mates Kingdom Hearts Series 2. Space Paranoid Sora, Black Coat Mickey, and Pete. Uh, pretty decent. I'm not going to say that they're better than Series 1. Series 1 had four characters, all in their standard outfits. I really wish this was mostly new characters. They really could have swapped out Pete and Mickey for maybe somebody like Riku, or Roxas, or Kyrie, or Aqua. Come on, guys. Come on. You know you want to do it. You want to make Aqua. So I'm not, I hope this does well, because I don't really know how many people are going to be like, oh man, I need that Pete statue, or that Mickey in the black coat, or Sora in uh, his Tron outfit. They really, guys, easy variant, give us Limit Form Sora. Limit Form was from the Japanese version of Kingdom Hearts 2. It was a re-release called Final Mix. It was like a bonus drive form, and it's in the HD re-releases on PS3 and PS4. So really, guys, do it. I think that'd be probably the best variant you guys could do. And then all you would need to do is make a Wisdom, Anti, and Master. And then you guys would have them all. I'm just saying. But decent little variety of figures. I'm not going to say that they're the best. But I really do like the sculpt. I hope these do well, of course, because it's Kingdom Hearts. And I will put a link in the description. For them, if you've got to get any of them, I would probably say maybe get Mickey, because I like the dynamic pose. Sora's nice, but he will feel incomplete unless they make uh, Donald and Goofy, or even just Tron. And Pete. Pete's Pete. If we get some Heartless, that'll be pretty good. So, that is what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Check me on social media. Check out MiniMatesCentral.com. 
And did you like the video? Well then rate, comment, subscribe, and like, and I'll see you later.